In today's video, I'm going to show you the making of a tie strap summer dress. I made this dress for the Los Angeles Frocktails event in May, and it's really the most fun thing that I've made all year. It's the perfect summer dress, and I really love it. Here's a little sneak peek of how it turns out. For this dress, I'm using a rayon fabric that I bought from L.A. Finch, and the pattern is a hack of the Jessica dress by Mimi G. In this video, I'll show you some of the behind the scenes process for making the dress. If you want more details, make sure to check out the blog post. All the links, including links to other videos with some more details on techniques used in making the dress, will be down in the show notes. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. After pressing the fabric and cutting it out, I like to apply the interfacing to the facing pieces. I start by making sure everything is aligned and flat, and then I give it a little bit of a touch with the iron to set it temporarily. Then I put a press cloth over the top and I press and press and press. This takes a really pretty long time to get good adhesion with fusible interfacing and I do have a blog post about this. Next I stitch together all the pieces of the princess seam bodice and the pieces of the skirt. For this dress I needed to assemble everything and then I would apply the piping. I forgot to record sewing the gathered skirt but I do have a blog post about that too. One of the hacks I did for this dress is making tie straps. For that, I cut out eight rectangles and sewed them together to make four straps. They're just long rectangles that get sewn to the top of the bodice. To turn the straps right side out, I used a knitting needle. Then to press them flat, I used my own technique. This is something I developed years and years ago to make sure I get those seams right at the folded edge. It does create a little crease in the strap, but I find that it works pretty well to get them as flat to the edge of the seam as possible. finishing the edge on the skirt and the bodice. Again, forgot to film a few of those steps in there, but you know, just gotta do what you gotta do. Finally, we're getting onto the piping. I made my own piping using pre-made bias tape and 1 8 inch macrame cord. I was just using what I had on hand and fortunately I had this macrame cord. To make the piping, I put the cord inside the binding and basted it down. I basted the piping to the bodice and the center front seam. There was a lot of basting in this dress, but it's really important to baste to make sure that you get everything right where you want it to be. After stitching on the piping, I also basted the straps onto the dress and tested the fit to make sure that I liked their placement. After basting on the piping, I stitched the facing onto the bodice and the center front edge. 
then it was time to grade all the seam allowances and understitch. These were very long seams, so it was a lot of grading and a lot of understitching. But I think both of those steps are really important for getting a nice finish on your dress. Finally, it was time to do the buttons and buttonholes. I spent quite a bit of time figuring out the placement and where I wanted them, and then marking the placement on my fabric. I really like this expandable button gauge. It's a tool that I only got in the last few years and I didn't think that it would be that useful, but I love using it. It's just a really accurate way to get the spacing marked. I used a wash away marker to mark the spaces and then I sewed all the buttonholes and buttons by machine. I do have a video about sewing one step buttonhole like this and about sewing buttons by machine. Doing it all by machine is much, much faster, especially when you're sewing on a lot of buttons like I was here. And finally, I stitched the hem. I did this the very morning of Bocktails and I'm so glad that I made the dress and that I finished it in time. It was definitely down to the wire. And here's my finished dress. You'll notice that there are also pockets, which I had to sew on after Frocktails because I ran out of time that day. But I've really loved this dress. It's just the perfect summer dress. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy sewing.